The Moose's knees and ankles are in different places than what you would normally think. The Moose's knee is up at the top. The Moose's knee is up near, up near the hip. This here, what we might think to be a knee, is actually its ankle. That's actually its ankle right there, its ankle joint. <laughs> so now we'll open the rib cage. Okay. Oh, the heart is in there. I'll let you. I'll let you know when I'll take it out. This up here. This up here is the lung. Notice how big the lung is. The lung is part of the respiratory system. Its job is to take in oxygen and remove carbon dioxide as a waste product, the same as what's in humans. Our lungs are not this big. I mean, the moose's lung goes from down here all the way up to here, and it spans this entire area. It's so big because it's a big animal. Okay? The larger the animal is, the larger these organs have to be to be able to support its functions, its bodily functions. In here, this is its stomach cavity. It's in kind of encased in this membrane. This here is the liver. Okay? This is the liver. The liver is actually about as big as the lung. Okay? It's real flat and it kind of folds around the stomach. This is its stomach right here. Its stomach is just like a cow's stomach in the fact it has four different sections to it. Four different divisions. Have you guys ever, you guys, I don't know if you've heard the phrase like when cows chew their cud. Okay. When cows eat, they'll chew their grass, they'll swallow it, but then they'll spit it back up again and keep chewing it. Okay, that's part of their digestive process. So when it goes down the second time, it goes to a different part of their stomach for further digestion. It does that after four different, four different sections. A moose's stomach is exactly the same way. It's got four separate divisions to it. All right, I'll pull the heart out now and you guys can see the heart. Okay, the moose's heart, look at, its, look at the size comparison. If I hold my fist up there, how many fists is it going to take to, to make up that heart? It's a lot. It's a lot. Again, just like the fact that the rest of these, the rest of these organs are so large, the heart, which its purpose is to pump blood, and what's in the blood? Oxygen, maybe carbon dioxide as, a re, as it's removing carbon dioxide from the, from the lower half of the body. It's also transporting nutrients. So the heart needs to be able to sustain that huge animal. The heart is like a human's heart in the fact that it has four chambers, just like a human's heart. It's got two ventricles and two atriums. It also has an aorta that spans over the top. But the aorta, we, we had to cut the part of the aorta off in order to remove the heart. But that's the, bo that's the bottom part of the aorta right there. <laughs> Oh, this is all fat here. Oh, this is part of the lung. Where's the? There's fat down here somewhere. I'll find some fat. There we go. Okay, so this is what fat looks like. Okay, that's fat. Okay, so fat is actually an energy source. Okay, it's stored energy. When animals eat during the fall, this is what they're trying to build up in their 
system is this fat. And this is when they can't find food in the winter, this is what they live off of. They live off of the fat that they store up in their bodies. Now, you guys notice that there's not a lot of stuff looking like this on this moose, is there? No. No. And that's because it's old. It was not able to get enough food in the fall. And it was not able to find enough food to sustain itself through the, through the rest of the winter. How old is it? This one is going to be upwards of a, close to 15. It's the mag the, about the lifespan goes up to uh, around 15 years. So this is anywhere from probably like 12, 13, all the, maybe 16. We, do, we can't pinpoint the exact age, but we can get a good estimate. Underneath the stomach, which we're not going to cut, we're not going to cut into it. But down in here, this is all stomach here. Back in here are going to be all compressed together. The